Hi again then guys and welcome to another speed tune for Forza Horizon 3 and this particular car is a widely, widely loved model, the R34 Skyline, aka, of course, Godzilla. And it's popular for good reason, it's a brilliant all-round car. It doesn't have quite as much top-end performance, in particular as, say, some of the supercars or hypercars on the game, but one of the strengths, really, of most, if not all, Skylines is similar to other Japanese cars like the NSX. They may not be the best for something like top speed, but they're so good at everything that they make up for it because of their all-round ability. So as far as the tune setup on this particular car, for a start it's not as powerful as many of the other vehicles. You don't have the 1500 horsepower engine. You've still got over a thousand horsepower, but there's a pretty big difference, of course. Now, I would recommend that engine conversion, the 6.2 litre V8. Of course, I'd recommend keeping the all-wheel drive as is and increasing the aspiration, or changing it, rather, to the twin turbo. As far as the visuals, it's down to you. I've made a couple of changes. We've got rotor P45R rims. I believe it was the Nismo front bumper. And personally, I like my visuals on my Skyline to be quite minimal. Some people like them to be a lot more flashy with the bigger wings, etc. And that's fair enough. So it depends what you want. Just choose whatever you want there, basically. If you like the way this one looks, you can find this tune on my storefront as is. So just use the keywords in the description if you want that. Otherwise, of course, just change it as you see fit. Now, as far as the tuning side of things, as you can see, the numbers are good. 2.3 to 60, 4.3 to 100, and 250 flat out. So, it's not as quick as something like a Supra, or certainly not as quick as the NSX, but it ain't slow either. And the Skyline on Horizon 3 in particular is more the kind of car that you'd use on a track which requires some straight-line performance, but it's more about cornering, nimbleness, maybe a little bit of off-roading in there as well, like mixed tracks. It's great for that kind of thing. Now for the gearbox, as you can see, I would recommend a final drive of 2.7, then individual gears of 2.9, 2, 1 1.5, 1.17, and 0.78. For the anti-roll, if you've been on my tunes before, you know the drill. Neutral camber and toe, unless you want to have some of that. One degree of caster for maneuverability. Anti-roll on 37 and 35, springs on 165, 153, and I've opted for the lowest ride height. Dampers on 15, 12, 6.5 and 5.5, aero doesn't apply, unless of course you change the wing. And as far as the diff, as we often do, 100% on acceleration, 0 on deceleration. And for this particular car, a 70% split in favour of the rear. So overall, if you decide to either go to my storefront and get this tune, or use some variation of this tutorial. Either way, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Of course, win plenty of races with it. And again, if you'd like to keep up with other tunes that we've done, and that we will do, of course, in the future, you can subscribe down below. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.